Friday, we live with it. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, y'all. It's Friday, let's go, let's get it. We live, we live, we live, man. Guess what? It's Friday, it's good Friday, because every motherfucking Friday is a good Friday. Any is? Simple yes. as that. Let's go, let's get it, let's go, let's Facts. get it. How was your day? Mine's, uh, I don't know. IDK. I ain't, I ain't put a title on it yet. I'm weak. Yeah, I ain't put a title on my day. He just shit went through the motions. Simple as that. Sorry. Went through the motions. You good too. Went through the motions. How was your day? My day was. Slide over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hang on. My day was actually cool. That's like smooth. Yeah, I mean, I just handled some business stuff like that. But hi, the dude. What's How are good, you doing? I'm doing good. good. Fam, what's good? How are you doing? That's what he asked. Uh, I'm, I'm still. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Trying shit. I'm, hey, I'm here with y'all. I was trying to figure it out. That's weird. Yeah. But it's lights, camera, action. I'm good. Yeah. Simple as that. Let's go. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah. My day was um. My day was cool. Like my day cool every day. I like. I really don't have no complaints. For mm. real. For real. Like. And I'm trying to learn how to stop complaining about mm. little shit. Like. Okay. I'm really. This really cool. Like. I don't got no. I'm not stressing about anything. Even though my birthday coming up, stuff don't. Stuff not going how I wanted it to be planned. But at the end of the day, that's my fault. So like, it's cool. Okay, okay. You know, like I'm, I'm just. I've happy. been trying to stop making excuses. That's where I've been at. I've been on my excuses. I'm just sound good to the person that's giving them that time. I need to shit. stop making excuses, procrastinating mm -hmm. too. But. Um, the dude, how you feeling, fam? You first on the line. What's up? What's up? How you feeling? Who else watching? Say so hello. Let's go. We hot. talk back. We talk let's about. Go, let's get it, man. We lie, we lie, we lie, we lie. We wait no rest of the fam to come. Somebody else just tapped in. Comment down below, but we wait no rest Hi, of the Kid fam. Hi, Kid Phoenix. Sorry, I missed the live. Gang. Wasn't in a good space yesterday. That's okay. You good. know, everybody gotta apologize about that. Simple Your mental that. health it's is more important than watching us. Simple as that. You know, you could have tapped in. We'd put a smile on your face. It was lit too. I know you double back and watch it, but yeah, Dang, he wasn't there that. yesterday. I thought he was, but he wasn't. No, nope, he wasn't. That was CP where. And, um, Kid Phoenix? Perks. Yeah, when we was talking about WWE and all that shit. It's cool. You wasn't there? That's Let's crazy. go. Let's get it, though. But you're doing better today, though, right, fam? Wait, how Simple are you? as that. How the you doing? The dude said, what's your star signs, and do y'all believe in star signs? Um, Is your star sign your zodiac? Zodiac sign. Is that what you mean, Kim? And that's what it's called? If so, I'm an Aries. Yeah, he wasn't there. Oh, my gosh. Damn. I thought you was there yesterday. Hey, it was what a lit. We was fun. We was having fun. It was a guy. Guy moment yesterday. Are you talking about horoscopes? Not horoscopes. Um, zodiac signs. Zodiac signs. Yes. Star sign. Yes. I'm an Aries. Right. I'm a Gemini, and do I believe in that shit? Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, but say I do. I mean, I when you meet that. a Gemini or when you meet an Aries, they literally act the way that we are known for them to act. You know, I didn't know a Gemini before I met you. Hello. But once I look into it, you act just like it. Um, but no. <laughs> Bono Bonadia. Bono Bonala. Hello. Bono Bono. Hey, unbox your name, fam. Break it down for us. Welcome no, to the live. Bono Bonoya. Where you at? Where you from? What's up? Welcome to the live. Thank you for joining. I don't think that's him. I don't know. You don't think that's him? You think he just no. got a random picture? Of? Is that that's, that's not you in your, you in your profile? Or not? What's up, though, gang, gang? We yeah, like, we like, we like, we like, we like. I did watch this in live funniest shit, especially Prince. South Africa. In the yeah, house. Yeah. Is that your <laughs> hey, is that is that your picture or no? Hi, B Messiah. What's good, B Messiah? Welcome to the fam. I mean, welcome to the fam. Oh, God, welcome God. To the oh. Oh. Let's go. How you doing, B Messiah? How you feeling today? It's a good Friday, man. I hope everybody feeling doing? good. If we not, we about to put some smiles on people's face and pick some spirits up. Simple as that. Drop your word of the day. Caption of the day. Quote of the day. Saying of the day. What's up? How y'all feeling today? Word of the day. What's up? What's up? What's up? No, it's a picture of my face. My fave singer. Who oh, is okay. That? Who, who? I don't know who the singer is. I don't know. Hey, he was in the colorful video. Probably. He I'm looked not, like he, he was... wasn't sure because I don't know his name. No, I'm just saying he looked like he was in the colorful video with Nasty C. That's all I'm saying. But um, let's go. Let's get it. Who else just joined? Comment down below. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? BTS Junk Kong. Okay. Oh, I heard of um. Well, like I've heard of them. Okay. It's like a group, right? What's um, up, Queen? Hi, Lauren. Yep. <laughs> How you doing? How everyone day going? What's your word of the day? What's your plans for the, for the weekend? Ones? The word of the day is how do you feel? What is the word that you would say that you would label your day as? You know? Like, if Who's you that? had a bad day, just put horrible day. Say their name, please. 
Kanissa. Kanissa, welcome to the live. Nash beats a Saudi hell of night. Please check new music. Okay, hey, okay. Hi, Ayanda. Thank you for the assist. Yep, it's a boy band from South Korea. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. BTS are good. I never heard of them, so now I'm going to listen to them. Who's just your so Ayanda. Ayanda, what's up, Queen, right? No, that's some dude. Damn, bro. I apologize, Right? King. You said you were a dude, right? Yeah, he did. A it's, man. Sorry, I don't mean to call you dude if you don't want to be. I think so. I see y'all watch the, the... It's the pink background that got me. Right, yep. Kid Phoenix okay. says, I see y'all watch the Noko Mashaba videos. Yeah, yeah, funny. Funny. Silly as hell. Boy, man. what's good, fam? Hey, is I that chicken... Like... What's up, Lloyd? Hey, is that chicken licking, licking like that, man? Do you be licking your fingers? That shit busting. Like, I'm excited. Like, when we do come visit, bringing the whole family to gang. Like, first we got to come on a small trip. Then we got to bring the whole family. Like, I really want to do mug bongs when I'm down there. So, like, I'm recording excited. recording me eating African food. Thanks. Boring day. Your day was boring. Wow. Why was it boring to you? Why, Lauren? Why is it, what you doing for the weekend? You about to chill and relax? If so, just meditate. Grow with yourself. Put some value in yourself. Right, write in your journal. For real. Read a book. Hey, I'm, I'm real big on that. Man. We need to be working on ourselves, y'all. Today's the 24th. This month is flying by. We need to work on ourselves, man. I still, man, you do. Where the fuck is Prince? Hey, man, it's cool. Team Captain delayed today. Um, if y'all ain't heard, bro, if y'all ain't playing that J new J. Jody, what are y'all doing? That album, that's a six piece chicken wing I got on repeat. Not six like, piece. Like, I mean, the revenge song, that shit, so what? If the clock ticking different, it's your time, my nigga. That shit, I, I'm going to say it every day because time is on accelerator, y'all. For real, man. If time moving fast for y'all, if the days are going by quick, we need to be taking these fucking steps, these little small goals each and every day. Why? Because it's our time, y'all. Simple as that. He said it best. I love it. Hi, everybody, folks. What are we talking about today, though? Let's get this conversation popping. What's Nibu up? Nibu said, would y'all link with Mensa when y'all here if he is down to? Of Duh. course. That's the nigga. Duh. Of course. No, on some real shit. We didn't collab with anybody that's yeah. when we down there. On and some we can learn a lot from shit. him. And the shit we on hell yeah, that nigga is damn near one of the goats, man. Yeah, and we still got that reaction coming, um, the top YouTubers oh, um, in South yeah. Africa. I'm excited to do that because I hope niggas is there one day. Simple as that. But let's go and let's get it, man. We don't get a topic popping. I'm going to get my red or black book. And I'm, I'm Wait, is it 2 p.m. there? No, it's 3.40 p.m. It's 3.40 we are six hours. Anybody got any now. questions? Let's think of a topic. What's the topic for the day, y'all? Let's go and let's get it, man. For real. Simple as that. Before I go grab my book. Please react to Major Steve's future MT and Roy. Oh, we haven't reacted to Roy in a minute. Okay. Let's go. Thank you for this. Simple as know. that. Let's go and let's get it, man. How y'all feeling? What's the topic today? What hey, we talking about? Hey, Prince. Gang, gang. What's the topic today? What's up? Hey, Big Crook. What's up, Big Crook? Gang, gang. How you feeling today? Prince, how you feeling today, man? What's up? Simple as that. He said, what's up? <laughs> I like the movie and shit. What was that, scary movie? Yeah. Let's go and let's get it, man. I don't even like, like scary screen? movies. Was but it was Scream? It looked the same. Scream and scary movie? Yeah, Scream is the dude with the mask in the movie. Scary movie. Is the dude with the mask in the Yeah, damn near. It's just scary movie is damn near a, a prodigy of, not a prodigy, of a product. What's that word? A parody? A okay. parody of Scream. Oh, as yeah. in like a funnier version type shit. Okay. You know? Facts. Like, have you, ever, you remember um, Scary Movie, like, 4 or 5, and they always be bringing other clips from different movies but making it funnier? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay. Um, that's like um, that, that ghost one he did. Right. Prince Lamar said, what did y'all think of chicken and licking? Hey, man. It seemed like we were supposed to taste it. You Facts. know, try I'm, it. I'm excited. Duma Lane, hi, T-Boss, 01. Hey, T -Boss. what's up? Hey, he new to the live. Right? Yes, I have What's not up? Welcome to the live. Thank you for joining. Simple Lauren, as that. Lauren said, did y'all see the Selena and Haley situation? Um, I've seen a couple clips, but I really don't care to be looking into it. You know? Like, it ain't nothing. I mean, who cares? I like Selena. I don't even know who Haley Bailey is. Selena, Selena? Selena Gomez. Oh. Okay. You know Selena. Gone, been gone for a minute. She's been gone for probably like 26, 27 years. But um, <laughs> Selena Gomez off Disney... <laughs> Disney Channel, I think. Wizard of Wally Place. And then Justin Bieber, new wife. Oh, okay, but, okay. Or Orabao, hi. Orabao, what's up, what's up, what's up? Let me see. Okay. What is that? Man, Orabao, King or Queen? King Queen. I think it's a guy. King. I think they pictures just automatically, you know. Hey, update y'all right pictures, fam. Please, so we can see what y'all look like. Please do. Mm -hmm. Then um, we need to get it popping, bro. We're going to get the what uh, um, the what app popping so we can start. <laughs> um, the what's that? 
A what up? What's that? Uh, name? whatever. Yeah, can y'all remind this? I, I gotta go I... down because no, it's... I'm not new. Been here a couple of times. My That's bad. what I thought too. I'm like, damn, this for me. But can y'all put your picture so we? Well, I guess it really don't matter. No, I like it. Because once we see, once we see y'all a lot, we will remember. That's what we like, gonna get Kid popping. Phoenix. We're gonna be like, what's up? Um, he said, "Do Malay." Nadu said, "What's the last movie y'all watched and really like?" Movie? Yes. Shit. Ain't hey, Prince. I, man, gang, I can't even tell y'all the no, last movie I watched. That's because I've really been like, I ain't, I stopped watching TV like that. We watched a couple series, but I don't watch TV or play the game and none of that. I don't like being distracted. I'm, I've been working. So the last movie I watched, God damn, I gotta think. It the last to movie be, I watched, I forget the name, but it was on. It was on Christmas. Netflix. Wasn't? I don't remember watching a movie on Christmas. Did we, we do pajama? To. We didn't do it? No, I don't remember Shit. doing it. But last movie I watched, I think it was with my sister Josephine. It was about a lady. Or was it with you? Remember the lady? Um, She was scamming. putting um When she see old people don't have families or whatever, she go and try to take everything that they have. Oh, no. That was not the last movie. That was so long ago. I watched something. That was like last that. year. I watched. Damn, yeah. that was so long ago. But I watched another movie after that. Hi, but like I watched the Adam Sandler movie. Or something. Oh, that was the last movie. Oh, we the watched Daddy Daycare. Oh, yeah. That was the last movie. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't really care for it. Like, it, it was cool, but it ain't like. But he, I like the Adam just, Seller movie. We just answered the question. He just asked what was the last. I was trying to think. It he was said, Daddy and, um, and that you really liked. Oh, fuck. I'll That's really awesome. <laughs> no, but it's okay. You like Daddy Daycare. Kid Phoenix said, who the fuck brought up, <laughs> brought up the condoms topic yesterday? Hey. I don't even know, but it's it was, okay. It Same came from, we was, talk, we was talking about. Um, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, Eddie Murphy, a good actor. We were talking All about of them. wrestling. Creed and that's Three. how it happened. Three. We have not watched I Need To. <gasps> that is something I could do for my birthday. See the new screen. Thanks for reminding me. What? To see the new screen. I want to go see that movie. Uh, I'm ready. I'm never going to do it. Three. Thursday night. Let's go. Let's get it. Um, I have not watched Creed three though, and I really haven't seen like clips or nothing that will make me want to watch it. I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta be a fan. What I'm is it fan. about? It's the boxing movie. Oh no, nah. T boss said no. I'm not. Oh, I already said that. B Messiah said my day was decent today, fam. How was yours? My day of the my word of the day today is priority. It is time to invest our energy on things that matters. Negative energy aside, facts. That's the top of the day. Since ain't nobody spoke on it, that's it. Priority. Simple as that. It's time to invest positive energy. Energy into motherfuckers that's going to invest back into you. No negative shit. No negative thoughts. No. Come on, man. I'll get going. That got me Please. deep. For a priority. Ugh. We got to prioritize what we want. Once we prioritize what we want and what it is, that's how we start We start moving towards it. Yeah, and prioritize you, yourself. And that's what it is. It started with yourself. You got to prioritize your day with your goals for the day. That's what I'm telling y'all to set the small steps and little small goals a day. Simple like, as that. You cannot be, like, we should not walk through life trying to, trying to make any, trying to make other people priorities our priority. You know, like, we really should just focus. Like, Big fans. We should really focus on ourselves because we can sometimes, but, oh, let me not work there because I, I was just my sister, Rye, or my friend, Rye, to, but you need to get a better job. You know, like some shit really just don't got nothing to do with you. Don't take on other people's priorities and make it your own. You really got to. That's why I say you got to be the number one priority too, because you need to see what you need, Big not facts. what your sister need or your best friend need or, you know, and if you got kids, of course, they are you. You got to, when you are a parent, you got to do what's best for your child, you Big know, facts. Big but facts. that's why when I say me, I'm talking about me and V3 because I am a mother, you know, but that's a problem I really had. I used to always try to make, people priorities mine and it's just like at the end of the day no because at the end of the day like okay if you do give them your last dollar or, or you giving them money to pay for their phone bills so their phone could be on whatever when you need it who can you call them or or if you was to do that and then your car was to get stuck can you call that same person to help you Big or to help comics. you figure it out because some people can't help you the way you want to be helped but would they be willing to take that time to be there with you while you figure it out you know because a lot of people will leave you fucking hanging while you why you going through shit when you won't when you wouldn't even do that to them? That's why you really have to focus on yourself. Don't love nobody more than you love yourself. Don't do more. Don't do more for anybody than you do for yourself. Big facts. Don't ever don't ever do too much. Like don't Big do. Facts. I'm just saying. Like Big. I really just realized. Like do not do too much. Sometimes we just we get in relationships and get friends and 
Even new people that you meet, we just get to doing too much. Big facts. Fuck all that extra shit. Yeah. For real. Like, for real. And get to doing too much for your fucking self. Yeah. When we gonna go out the way for ourselves? When we gonna start prioritizing ourselves first? And that's the thing. Like, when we start doing back, too much for ourselves, I'm at the point I call it betting on myself. I ain't betting on nobody else. I ain't investing in nobody else. I'm betting on me. I want the best for me because I know my heart. I know once I get what God got for me, everything on this world, I'm going to go back and bless me once I'm supposed to bless. Simple as that. But we got to prioritize. We got to put ourselves first. If we do not put ourselves first, who's going to take care of y'all? Simple as that. Who's going to take care of you if you don't take care of you? Hit Simple it, as that. Let's go on. Let's get it. Huh? I said hit it, Keith. Nobody. I'm weak. Nobody. Yeah, simple as that. That's funny. That's, I like, <laughs> that's funny. Good one. Hey, on God. Simple as that. Nobody. So take care of yourself. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize who you're going to put value into. We really got it all twisted. Like, like We've been playing people, this game oh, all the way wrong. For real. We got to start playing it correctly. And it start with us. The person that... They get this, you the one breathing, it's your life. We be walking around like motherfuckers got guns to our head and shit and got to do this, got to do that. No. Prioritize, make your, do what make you happy. That's what's the thing. We not out here doing what make, me, make us happy. It's that simple, man. When that's we the first thing I, that's, I used to tell Vernon all the time when I met him. Do what, do what makes make you happy. happy. <sighs> Even if it hurts me, do what makes you happy. And that's how you know I really love the nigga. Because the yeah. people that don't love you, they don't care what you... They don't care what makes you happy. They only care about what makes them happy. But what I wanted to say, too, is... People will try to make you feel bad about prioritizing yourself, which is weird. You mm -hmm. know, because the same people that try to make you feel bad for putting yourself first be the same ones putting themselves before you. Big bad. Like, no. Every time, no. Motherfucker, oh, that, that's your mom or that's your sister, that's your dad, that's your best friend. Okay. What the fuck? Now, if you know a motherfucker got you like how you got them, y'all know how to go about them. But most people in our life do not have you like how you got them. And if people, and we are adults, so if people are not in a position to help you, they have to be valuable somehow. You don't need, you don't need nobody just being there, being a, being a clock on the wall, being a fucking bear on the couch, like a stuffed animal on the couch, just sitting there, you know? Like, and that's why I say it people hurts. really try to make you feel bad about trying to prioritize themselves when they... Because they want you to prioritize them. Hey, then in the process of the change, like you're going to have to grow and elevate with yourself. And so when you start prioritizing yourself, they're definitely going to be mad. They're going to be like, you're acting this way. You're, no, I'm just doing what's best for me. But you know what's crazy, though? Like, God, at the end of the day, God got, we got a timeline on this life. Like, we got a time where we are out of here. And in the process of that, that is all the time we got to try to get what God got out here for us. So in the meantime, you know, that's our father. That's our nigga. He's going to guide us. So even though we over here swerving, he still got us where we're not going all the way out the way. Because what he's going to do is let you get on the bumpy road and put you back on the path. Get on the bumpy road and put you back on the path. And what I'm basically trying to say is if you don't prioritize your stuff or do what make you happy and you truly want to be happy and you know God got you, he'll start removing that shit for you. But it's best to just do it at your at your own will. I'm just being honest because I've been there and it's the it's the hurt when God do it. But shit, honestly, if you don't do it, if you don't prioritize and take care of yourself, He'll do it for you. And then then you just gonna be hurt for real. But then you understand. But what basically we trying to say? Save a lot of y'all to fast track y'all on life right now because she's spitting nothing but gems. Put yourself first for real. And it's just that simple. I mean, it's as simple as that. When you put value in yourself, take care of yourself, and it's just that simple. Love yourself. And yeah. it's just that simple. And I want to say one thing. Um, I was writing this so I didn't forget it, but I put that, um, and, and if I feel like if you don't do, okay, if you don't, I feel like if you don't do what makes you happy, life will, you will know that. Like, you know, like life will, I mean, how can I say this? Like, you know how they say what you put out in, in the world, you will get out. So if you're not putting, if you're not making yourself happy, you're not going to be happy, <laughs> you know? So like hey. if you over here not, you know, just putting yourself first or, you know, if you just decide to get this nigga money instead of getting your hair done, something that's going to make you feel good now, boom, you know, now you're not happy. Like we really supposed to be doing what's best for us because we, we care, you know, like our feelings is us type shit. Like, you know, that's, that's me. Like how I feel is me. A motherfucker not going to feel how you feel. No matter how much you cry, no matter how much you get mad or try to explain to them. Nobody, if they don't want to understand, they're not going to give a fuck. Simple as that. You know, so like, 
back to what he said, like, for real, do what's best for you. And when you do what's best for you and when you walk into your path and nobody could say anything to you about, you know, not, nobody could say anything to you that would just throw you off. You know, because some people will be doing good and then one person could say one thing and now they back to square one because they care so much about what a motherfucker say. Like, you really got to go full blown. This is my life. I don't give a fuck about what nobody got to say. That's how I am. It go back to ripping the fucking... Well, that's um, how When you gonna pull that fucking... Um, when you pull it off the ground, you rip it from the roots. Simple as that. When you go rip a plant, I like that. fruit, you just go get it from the roots. You know what I'm saying? You see... I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of... You see the weed over there? You know what I'm saying? You, the weeds, the bad things we got in our life, the things that we know we need to change... Only we know we need to change. Only way we really gonna change, we gotta rip that shit from the roots and plant new seeds, y'all. But let's go on, let's get it with the chat talking. About. And the dude said, I wanted to kindly ask, is there a way y'all can react to some videos while here on live and later extract the reaction from the live to upload as a reaction separation? Yes, um, we we're working on editing, that. Right? We're working on that. It's just really the timing right now. And what we we got a lot going on outside of like just life in general. So, time's on the set already. Y'all gonna see, I need to play with the shit anyways. Other than y'all seen the one, nigga then bought a 4K camera and have not been putting it to use. So, um, it's coming. Simple as that. Prince said, ever since I got spiritual, I don't watch horror. Um, I'm a little spiritual. I'm still trying to learn more about it. Like, if you talk about spiritual as in like, um, let me see. So, I'm not trying to say like the wrong word, but... Like, you know, of course we all believe in God and stuff like that, but you talking about spiritualizing like the universe, like how people say like, you know, the universe, you know, the universe take care of us type shit or like, you know, do you be, um, sun gazing and what is that called? I don't know the exact word, but like when you walk on the grass, but barefoot, like, um, you connect, are you spiritualizing and connecting with the earth? That's what I'm trying to say. Um... Let me see. Nadu said, I ain't watch Creed 3 2. Cross the fingers, I don't come across spoilers on the net. I'm weak. CP where so I was telling y'all about StreamYard CC for real. Um, what is StreamYard? It's how you stream. Oh. Big Thank Crook you said, for damn. Another assist, for real. Big Crook said, damn, y'all be in fax machines right now. <laughs> <I'm weak. laughs> Lloyd said, Hollywood movies really needs the world to pay attention to. I was fascinated by Justin Timberlake movie in time. Turns out that. That's what we will end up happening to the world, like Kanjin movie. Justin Timberlake got a movie. Name what? Call what? In time. You talking about the song? And if the love is all I have, that one. And it's hey, that's a banger. I ain't heard that shit in a while. Cause um, can in the end of time? Cause that's what it, that sound like to me. I never seen Justin Timberlake in a movie. Tell me something I don't know. Um, <laughs> Orville said here, I've updated my profile. Let's look at him. Okay, young king. Kill him with the sauce. Yeah, drippy, like my nigga, drippy. Okay, Dri let's go. Let's King get Phoenix it, man. Said, anyone excited about Fast 10? Also, what's your favorite movie from the Fast and Furious franchise? Ooh, one with Ludacris. The one with Ludacris. That's all I got to say. Simple as that. I really ain't watch. Fast you ain't watch Fast and Furious. I probably like watched one. But Couple, I'm not probably, really... You watched one with Ludacris. I don't know. Prince said, "Word of the day: If people don't know you personally, then don't, then never take it personal. Because as long as you good, as long as you good in yourself, because as long as you God in yourself, know your attention. Okay, as long as God in yourself, know your intentions are pure, then you are good. Facts. So say it one more time." Um, if people don't know you personally, then never take it personal. Because uh -huh. as long as God and you know your intentions are um, pure, then you are good. Big facts. I like it. I like That's it. That's facts, though. And, it, and it's just that simple. Y never take stop. it per Don't take nothing. Per I mean. Yeah. We need to let shit bounce off. Yeah. Like, for real. I'm one of them now. But, of course, you know, take action. Like, don't just let shit just rub off and let it happen again. Like, of course, once you see that you didn't like something, you know. Set a boundary or whatever you gotta do for that, but move around. But don't don't take it personal as in getting on Facebook. Now you gotta cut your whole family out. You know, just just black bad. Like we gotta we do gotta learn to take a lot of shit to the chin and stop being emotional. I mean, like we can be emotional, but a lot of people be so quick to run to social media or just run to everybody and tell everybody what happened and stuff. Like we gotta learn to cope better. With Big her. facts. Hey, it started with yourself. We always quick to tell somebody. We always quick, man. Once we start realizing, y'all, once we bring the best out of us, put all that value in us, be the best us, be the best you for the universe, y'all, 
we going to bring that the best out of it. That's what we should be giving to the ones we love anyways. Like, life's short. This shit really short, man. This shit go by quick, man. And I realized that just being at my job for 10 years, just the five-year terms. Like, I don't even believe it. And I promised myself this next five years going to be my best. Then after that, the five years after that is going to be my best. And we're going to keep elevating and evolving from there. And that's the shit I'm on. Simple as that, man. Because... It, we, it all start with us, man. Like, it, it really, we overdo it. It's all up here. Our mind and thought process is so powerful, y'all. It really is, y'all. We all got juice. We just got to know how to use it. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad, my no, bad. I just didn't know if you were done. Um, B. Masai said, well said, CC. The same people that you sacrifice for are the ones that leave you hanging at your lowest. Mm. Your best friend should be good because he will always be there for you at, at an all time. Mm. Right. That's big facts. And then it's them there, like, it's to the point when you're picking your best friend, that shit, shit, it shit. Something, like, that's for, that shit supposed to be no question. Like, you know what I'm saying? Low key, it's supposed to be no question. That's not, that's a real, you know, everybody got the ups and lows and go through shit, but when it really comes down to it, if it's somebody actually to do some support, love, all that shit, shit, you can be, like, niggas be acting like, bro, what kills me nowadays? Motherfuckers be acting like they don't know how to, like, be in relationships or be friends. Like, it's simple. If you're going to shade the motherfuckers, just don't be them. Don't fuck with them. Like, we make this shit. Man, we really make life harder than what it really is, y'all. Simple as that. If you know you're getting bad energy and this and that from motherfuckers, do you fuck with me or not? It's okay. It's a million motherfuckers to me. Look how, many, look how we mean. There's so many people. Like, we be so locked and tied in on so much shit that's really not important. Right. Now, it's different when it comes to you having, like, your family. That's different. But every family got two ways. They're for you or against you. Simple as that. Some of them be for you or they be against you. And it's like, it's, it's really, you got something that's 50-50. Then other than that, you, if you got kids, to a lot of young kings and queens, you got kids. That's that's soul ties. So it's like, it's just other than that, man, we put too much emphasis on the shit. And we don't put enough emphasis on ourselves. That's all I'm trying to say. Hang on, I want to read this comment. Hi, God's free soccer dream. God he said, hi, guys, dream. just chilling with my wife. Halenga we Nadella food. Okay. We're watching you. Keep motivating us. Pretty, oh, simple well, thank that. you guys for watching us, and I'm simple sorry that, that I butchered that, it's but so it's good. all love. And he's new. I where never seen him. Yeah, where are you from? Where are you from? Let me see. Pull the portfolio. Picture. It's just a soccer team. Oh, it's a soccer team. You're like a soccer player. Got you, got you. Gang, gang, where you from? Where you from? Thank you thank you and your wife for joining the live. Okay. The we just chopping it up like we do. The dude said the Fast and Furious, they <coughs> had them steal a whole safe. Which Fast and Furious was that? The one that had them steal the whole safe? Shit. Bro, you taking me down memory lane, bro. CP Ware said our happiness is 90% contributed by us and 10% contributed by others. Oh. Which is fast. But that's what I just told my best friend Damn. today. I'm like, we really got to watch. We got to watch our relationships we have with people you know like love her like it's crazy though but love her when you love somebody it can be painful because you know if you, you we love our family our parents and one day everybody gotta go that shit hurt you know what are with relationships sometimes some things happen in people life where it some some shit just change you know some shit just change it just like you never know like you know and we have to learn a different way we can love but we have to learn a different well i have to let me speak for myself i have to learn a different way to love like to where if or i guess i gotta learn how to detach myself or not even that like because i love everyone but it's just like i have to learn a different way because it's just i don't want to i don't want to be hurt like you know like if me and my best friend uh stop being friends whatever like that, i don't want to be affected by it but so, i still want to be like damn you know we spent this many years together stuff like that damn but i don't want to be like you know like when you well i don't know if you ever been through this but like, one time I had a bad breakup and motherfucker was sick, like, crying. Da -da. I don't want to do all that. Like, you know, like, but that's what, when me and my friends stopped being friends, I was crying. It's just like, But that's why? emotions. Yeah, that's I don't like, so, I want to fix more so, that. You got to, we, we all need to learn how to control our. Or just, control, I, I need to learn how to. We need to learn how to control our love emotions. Like, it's so, like she said, love hurt, but it's so easy to love. And it's, and it's really that simple. It's some, and but. <laughs> You know what they say, like, damn, I lost it. It's an old school sound. I was going to each other. But when something's so easy, it's going to hurt the opposite way. And yeah. love is really easy. And I love love. That's my favorite word. I love to love. I love 
everyone around the world, even people that hurt me. Like, I just love, but... She is a positive person. I just don't... I don't, like, I don't... That's why I'm trying to fix what I want to say. Like, we are supposed to love people. We are, we are humans, you know? But what I want to learn for me, that's why I had to change that, trying to give y'all advice. This is advice for myself. Like, I want to learn how to, I guess, take... I don't know, because the way I look at it, certain stuff, like, the since I love you, I will... You know, you could spend night at my house. You can do this, you know, or I'll stop what I'm doing, give you a ride, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I don't know. Like, some people are not supposed to be loved like that. Prioritize your love. You got to, yeah, set boundaries with my love. And that's what it is. You got to prioritize your love. But the so thing that's is, that's why you got to like, set boundaries so you don't this, get this, as hurt when I'm about you to, fail. I'm about know? to say, you prioritize your love, then you set boundary on it. And when I say set boundaries, you have a set system. Oh, uh, Chris in, said it too. As in, like, if three people, like, I mean, not three people, like, I got a three strike system. You get one strike, two strike, then your ass is out of there. Like baseball, you're out. And that's just me. It's like, I'll let you scar my, if I, if you priority up there, I'll let you scar my heart once, twice, and three. It, it might happen. You but see, that's know. what I don't want to do. But see, that's I'm what, honestly but sick I, but, of second chances. But that's what something I, it's all about prioritize. So you right. prioritize your love at a point to where, Hey, I love you, but once you fuck me over, it's over. Type shit. That's, yeah, that's like what that's that's to. what I'm trying to say. So it's all yeah, boundaries. But boundaries. not even like not even boundaries, it's just to like to let motherfuckers know off gate. Like, cause the way I love, I can't I've been so hurt by so many people, like you know, continuously though. Like not just off no one mistake, no, like motherfuckers continue to hurt me, continue to hurt me. And it's like, damn. The love I have, I caught myself still being around them, still doing that. Like, no, I, I got to learn to set to set motherfucking boundaries and then be firm with it. Big because the, the love I am, like, I'm such a loving person. It's like, sometimes my I do let my guard down because it's like, oh, okay, we back cool. Like, no, you got to really stand on shit so motherfuckers know don't. If, if you're going to be in my life and if you want my love, because my love is different. You ain't going to get no love like CeCe love. Mm, talk your talk. Like, for that's why all my, every person I ever encounter with in life, they... They always remember me. Like, you know, like, even but just to on. get... Can huh? I pivot Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That, we need to. Because I'm the same type of way. You ain't going to get this nigga this type of love nowhere else. But that's how... We on, we on some different shit. We didn't work on our character. But, like, that's how you need to be. You need to have value and love yourself enough that you know the love you giving somebody is so good. Like, if they it need to be over, appreciated. Like you know what I'm saying? Your loss. You and that, and that's where we at. And that's crazy. Yeah, hey, but everything she, gonna, I'm co-signing everything she What I was going to say is like, um, like when I was like 20 years old, <coughs> I got a call, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I got a call from a girl that I went to high school with and she was like, can you call this number, blah, blah, blah. Um, this guy that I used to date when I was like in a uh, uh, junior, so 11th grade and stuff. Well, not even 11th, like 9th and 10th grade. He had her reach out to me. And then, you know, um, when I hear somebody is like in a behavioral place, that means like they mental not right. So the only reason I even called is because I don't want to be the reason. I don't want to be his last break, you know? Even though that ain't got shit to do with me, but still, that could have broke. You know, me saying fuck you, like I wanted to, could have broken. But I went to go see him and everything. I, um, we have a place called St. Joe Behavioral Health. It's where people that has like mental disabilities, mental just mental problems or schizophrenic or anything like that. Like, you know, they go there real quick. So I went to go visit him, but something he always said that stuck to me is you were the last time, like this is, we, we, I'm already 20. So I dated him. When I was like 15, you know, but he said this was, you were the last person I remember being happy with. You were the last time I remember being ha like when I was with you, that's the last time I remember being happy in life. And it's like, damn, like when he told me, I'm like, damn, even though he broke up with me, broke my heart and everything like that. It's like, to hear a motherfucker say that when I thought like, damn, you know, like when he broke up, I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Um, you know, I thought I was being a perfect girlfriend. Da, da, da. You know, I didn't understand it at first and I didn't give a fuck because God do stuff in mysterious ways. Like, I appreciate God doing all of that. But, you know, it just was like, damn, that just showed me like my heart just hit different. I still got people that be like, you know, even motherfuckers have not talked to me in a while. They still feel comfortable enough to even ask me for money, not even knowing what I've been doing or anything like that. Just show me like. Motherfuckers know CC CC is a genuine person. You know, your love is different. That's all my love hit different because everything she said. I'm I'm on the same tip. It's like if I, I don't cut people off, they cut themselves the fuck off because my love is so strong and it's so big. I'm gonna love you regardless all the bullshit, but I got a tolerance 
and I got a high tolerance. And once you get in that high tolerance range, that means you push me. And the person just got to say, all right, I got to let you go. And I don't cut people off because I know what the fuck. I know my value. Just like that motherfucking J. Jody. I know my value. Once you know your fucking value in yourself. And the sad part is, niggas be knowing their value and still accept less. And that's the Famous shit we got to stop. That's what I'm just saying. No, I'm saying niggas in general, like people. Like, oh, oh, that's what I'm Never on no. No, females do that shit all the time. Be stand with a motherfucker, linger around. Like, nigga ain't shit. We nah, really nah, have to that, understand it. Do vice versa. Like we gotta start back with value. Know your worth. Know your value. Right. But start here. Know what the hell you want. Speak up. Communication. Know what you want out of it. Like we, a lot of niggas dry. A lot of motherfuckers don't. It, a lot of shit. Man, life is really simple. We playing this game all wrong. For real, we got to start off knowing what we want. You know what I'm saying? Dude, what type of life do you want? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to be happy? If so, start with your fucking self. Can't nobody make you happy but you. Yeah. We always put our happiness in other people's hands. It's killing me to see our generation grow up. See the old people fucking stuck on it. Like, putting our happiness in other... I was on that shit. Wait, but I do like, want to say something, though. So, let me pivot off that. Go. I do want to say, especially since we have couples in here and stuff like that, like... Sometimes you might get with somebody and not realize that you don't know your value. So if you guys are happy together and stuff like that, learn, you know, learn your value together. As in like, mm. like, let's say me and Vern can, um, every Wednesday and Friday, we sit at the table and we talk about things that we want to, um, we want to better in ourselves, not as a couple, but ourselves. You know, a lot of people forget when they get, when they get into couples, they always want to talk about what we can do. No. We can't do shit until... Pivot. The individual and, is right. You and know? then pivot back to take care of yourself, for real. And then go back to loving yourself ultimately. Because I feel like we're robbing motherfuckers saying we love them and we don't truly love ourselves. Like, for real. Like, how you giving out... You, and, and, and don't get us twisted. We coming from one angle. It ain't nothing wrong with getting with her. Because she... When I, we got together, she literally got me through some shit. For real. Like, and it's just like, it ain't nothing wrong. People can build each other up. I didn't build her up. Got her through some shit. Like, that's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? You run into people. Financially. I, I feel like when I was met you, I was actually um, mentally okay. I just you wasn't sure? in a... That little ponytail yeah. and all that. What did I got to do with my Because you said you were stressed. Because I got to pay bill. I got to... I wanted to put myself in a position. Of course I'm going to be stressed when I don't have help. You just said your mental was good. No, I'm saying like, as in like, a person that's... How can I say like a person that's depressed stuff like that? I didn't walk around like when I you came around you. I, no, that's what I'm saying. When I, I came, when I walked around man. you, when I when I came around you, I brought nothing but good energy. I didn't. You didn't. You couldn't even. The only you only knew that I. You know. Well, I was working when I met you, but you knew I lost my job so like because I told you. If I didn't tell you, you would never have been able to tell that I didn't have my own crib or nothing. Would have just kept. You know. Right. That's what right. I'm saying. Like okay. my my mental. I was already knew what I wanted in a relationship. And see, then I'm so tough skinned. I was just going through a lot, but I, I just somehow I don't know. Every day, man, I just somehow I put a smile on my face. But I'm done doing that shit. Like this, this shit called because the light just went by and I realized I was smiling. I'm blessed. I'm happy. Don't get me there, but I'm I'm after my ultimate joy, cause I want to be enjoying life on some just ultimate shit, and that's what I'm after right now. And that's what that's what I'm after. I'm after my ultimate joy because I tell y'all, how the hell are we going to enjoy life without having our joy? And that's our happy. So I'm after my ultimate happiness, like where I'm talking about, where I can, I'm just at all peace. Like niggas just looking around, like feel like he around all fucking. I don't know flowers yes, and butterflies. Yes, peace is part of happiness. Yes. I don't feel like you can be happy if you, you don't, don't have, have no peace. peace. But let me read some of these comments though, just because they talking about what we talking about. Okay. Um, I see all you guys. Um, let me just read them. Fuck it, just to acknowledge everyone. Big Crook said my movie Big New Crook. Jack City because my mama named me after Nino Brown. Nino. I'm, am I my brother's keeper? Okay. Yes, you are. Godfrey yes, said I hi. God oh, I already read that. Kim right, Phoenix said Vern. I bet you're talking about Too Fast, Too Furious from the fifth movie. It was all heist. I don't know that word is uh, cyber terrorists. Godfrey said South Africa. <laughs> Um, he from South Africa. Okay. Easy if he wears that StreamYard is a platform where you can stream and we can join in. Oh. Yeah, StreamYard. I already put it in my notes. Helen Godwin? I'm going to put the... I'm putting motion in. I, my like time coming to the end. This month went quick, y'all. Less emphasis on the R at the end. StreamYard. CP West said, yeah, you butcher that one hard. Like, I don't know. Prince said, love with boundaries. Facts. That's what everybody... Like, when I be talking about love, I'm not talking about relationship. I'm talking about everyone every that you fun. love. As Brothers, even sisters, like when, cousins, friends, I mean, we have kids. We are we not grown yet, but like if I was forty, I know V three would never be like this. But 
or let me not even use him. Let's say I had a um uh a hard headed nephew or something like that. Like I love you so much, but one thing you're not finna do is stress me the fuck out. You know? Sure. I just can't. Or anybody. I just don't wanna be stressed. Hey, stress to kill you. Stress is really the number one killer over in America. The dude said I have been you. Um, my bad. The dude said I have been watching South African YouTuber making couple switch phones. Damn, people are so not loyal out here. Giving someone your love and heart has to be the bravest thing to do these days. At the end of the day, I don't even judge off that shit because you don't even know what the fuck you know. Y'all cl see them cl little clips. That's true. Can't even go wrong. She probably just decided to write a nigga because that nigga acted up. You know. Right. But Never um, know. but they don't want to tell y'all that because then I just take away all the fun. You know. But, um, big facts, big that's facts. something I do want to let y'all know. Like, everything y'all see on the internet, do not believe. A lot of shit is staged. Right. Like, and we like know I, this because we done tried some shit. And we, who? I'm saying we done did some shit, like, for off YouTube when we realized, like, these motherfuckers were faking it. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Big facts. Big facts. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. don't know what you talking about? You I'm look like, like talking about drugs or something. I'm like, yeah, we do not do that. No, but um, big facts and all. And the biggest thing is a lot of motherfuckers, we look up and we see these motherfuckers happy. And they really don't be happy. Like Money don't bring happiness. Real shit. Joy, yourself, putting value, energy bring happiness. That's why I think God um, made me like this because I feel like I'm going to be rich in the next two years. And I feel like he, I couldn't be in my own, my own entrepreneurs. Okay. No, yeah. I was just asking. Yeah. Like, what was your... Well, I'm just saying, like, I'm gonna have my own businesses. Like, my money is gonna be right. And if 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 I'm not rich in two years, I promise you, I'm gonna be in the process. Shit is gonna be working. I'm gonna show you guys. But um, what I'm about to say is, I feel like God know my heart. He didn't want me to have that heart, um, being rich because then I'll be broke. You know. So it's like. He, you know, he want to build me up so I can teach everybody. Like, I can teach y'all how to make money, but y'all crazy as fuck if you think I'm going to give it out to you easy when I just went through all of this. To, like, no, the only one that get it easy is V3, and that's because he didn't ask to be here. Anybody else been here as long as me and can do what they fucking self. Big facts. And I got younger siblings that's under 21 and stuff like that. They're, I'm going to teach them because nothing comes easy. Like, nothing. And I don't want them to get comfortable because... You can get comfortable. Like, I got comfortable with him taking care of me, and it's like, I be telling myself, like, damn, you ain't never supposed to get, even though it's cool, but still, just like, you never supposed, supposed to get to comfortable. Because if something was, if he was to get hurt or something, then what? You know? Like, but that's why I'm, I'm happy the way I am, because I do think of shit like that. That's why I try to bring stuff to the table and shit like that, because even if it's not much, but it's just like, if something do stop, you got to have something about, like, you know, like, that's something like for men, y'all shouldn't want, and women too. If something was to happen to you, you cannot call on your partner. What are we doing here? We are two adults, you know? Shit like that. So, but that's that's just what my mind be thinking about. But um, it's a RIP Paul Walker. RIP is fine ass. Prince is always saying, I know my words, but the actions don't match. I used to be like that. I don't give a fuck nowadays. It's all about fairness because people like doing things to you that they wouldn't like if you did to them. Exactly. That's what I say. That's why shit with me be about uh -huh. principle. It's all principle. about principle. I don't care what it's a motherfucker... Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Then why you do it like that? You knew how I was going to take it. I feel like everybody in my life know how I'm going to act. Just like how I know how people... You know, some people you... Oh, let me not say it like that because they're going to take it. You know. So if a motherfucker shiesty, they know that they were shiesting you. That's why, just like what you said, it's all about fairness. If I know I will not do it to you, I'll be damned if I let you get away with doing it to me. Big facts. It's but. At that, motherfuckers still let motherfuckers get away with the bullshit. Hi, Neo. Who? Neo. Neo <laughs> from the motherland. That. Let's go. Let's get it, man. B. Messiah said, my friend once said he feels sorry for me because I still have my mother and I love her so much. He feel like I won't survive losing her to death because he's still struggling to deal with losing his mom. Mm. Everybody take it differently. Yeah. But look, y'all, that's why we got to really tap into really enjoying yeah, life and understand, like, loving our loved ones. Loving our, like, still loving that's all the female. Like, love you know, love yeah, our moms. Love our dads. Enjoy life because that day got to come. And it's just simple as that. But we got to understand, like, that's why we're supposed to be cherishing the moments now. Yeah. So when that day come, we can understand that they're off in a better place. Right. And it's going to be hard anyways, regardless, because everybody take it differently. Facts. And that's all I got to say about that. Well, that's yeah, but that's something I've been um, well, I lo I had lost the um, I had lost somebody close to me at a young age, so it taught me at a young age like <sighs> shit unexpected can happen, you know. Hey, I just want to start right here. We as men, especially all over there, we need to put a lot of value, 
lot of value. I just realized it just thinking about it. We need to put a lot of values in our women's, in the females, in the creators. Because I just think about how hurt my mom was when her mom died. Like, the pain watching her. My little bro watching his mom, her very son, and the pain under 21. The pain. These mothers. like So it's like, y'all, I'm just really thinking, like, we really need to just focus on putting value in people. Real, yeah, so you don't because some people that be tough, feeling bad because they tough. know they didn't go visit their mama in a whole year or they yeah, haven't talked to her, talk to her phone, or got like, bad terms. That's why they say you know, you're not really supposed to go to sleep uh, mad at the ones you really love. Yeah, but but you know some people right are attitude. fucking ignorant as fuck. Yeah, it's whether true. it's your mama, sister, cousin, like you know that's why I say like I want to learn how to look because I love everybody. But it's hey, like but no, if you mistreat me, why? Like I just asked my friend, I said if a motherfucker hurt me, why am I? Why the fuck am I still trying to protect their feelings? What is wrong with me? Big facts. I'm what like, the how fuck? You that? <laughs> yeah, like uh, I mean, me we, and my friend just be talking about life. Period. Sometimes but it's just we like, be stupid and blind. Like we talk about shit in our past and stuff that we let people get away with and stuff. And it's like, like, like something happened to me, and I'm just like, damn, I'm still like, or like if a girl, like one friend tried to steal from me, or whatever. And I, but still, to this day, I'm still nice. I'm still being like. No. Hey, but look though, that's what that's what life. Though. You don't gotta give out negative energy, like you know, especially because you can start some shit like motherfuckers will try to kill you or whatever like that. But you know, let a motherfucker stand on that shit. Let a motherfucker feel you. Like, like I know, like I said, like I know I value my heart different. You ain't gonna never find another me. So I know, like, it's gonna motherfuckers always gonna be like, damn. But I should never did that to that. She was kind as fuck. But see, that's the dope part about life, y'all. We got to keep growing. I told y'all, life don't wait on nobody. Life getting older. Life elevating. Each, every fucking day, life is going by. Time is flying. And that's why we need to be getting older and growing and elevating. But basically, what I'm trying to say, like, that's a learning process. Life will teach you how to um, love motherfuckers. For real. Because the more you keep getting hurt, hurt, you're going to build up a tolerance pain. Like, all right, I can't take this shit no more. I'm not accepting this shit no more. This is the last time. This is true. And once you stand on that shit for you, because it pivot all the way back to you, right. once you stand on that shit for yourself, uh, that's when motion going to start happening. But if we don't do it for ourselves, y'all. Who going to do it for us? If we don't learn how to stand on the stand up for... We don't learn how to stand up for ourselves. Who gonna do it for us? What they for say, real. you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. And that's a lot of us. We just falling for a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit yeah, that, that people put out here. A yeah. lot of bullshit. Muff, uh, we, Even a lot what of the bullshit. government put out here, but we ain't gonna do that. We, we A lot of bullshit, y'all. We need to start standing up. Standing on our shit, man. Realize, like, this shit really beautiful. And stop Figure listening out what your to motherfuckers is. that's not... Like, I mean, because you never know if a motherfucker not doing that, but you can tell shortly in the conversation, like, if a motherfucker really... You know, like, living by what the fuck they talking about. A lot of people be out here trying to act like they leaders and shit. Like, and that's how y'all get misled. <laughs> Big facts. But like, let's start off by being our own guidance, our own right. leader. Lead our goddamn can, self. Anything that y'all like, want <laughs> to know, you literally can look it up. For real. Like, even though we give y'all advice, stuff like that, but y'all can look up self-care. You can look up setting boundaries. Y'all can look up real professionals talking about this shit. Energy. Look up energy. Y'all can look that up, I just figured that out. I ain't start saying energy until a little about a year ago. Y'all need to get the like, sacred woman. It's for women, but her son got a book. When I find out, I'm a, I think you guys should use that. It's going to show you guys how to value yourself more as men. You know? Big facts. Big it's facts. just like, I just take it as a journal. Because I got the woman book. I haven't read it, but I'm about to. Because I want to just... I want to transition myself, like, for real. It teaches women about wound care, so I'm sure it teaches y'all just how to... The right stuff, like, to make your body work properly and everything. Yeah. But I'm not... I'm, I'm Right now, I ain't at that stage. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, That's okay. I'm, I'm talking to now. There. I know. But for my young bulls, I want y'all to focus on energy. Because if I would have knew what... I knew what vibes was and all that. I felt it, but I didn't know the real deal of definite energy, energy and positive thinking. And setting plans, actions, and like going through with it. If y'all can do that, being at the age y'all at, especially um, Kid Phoenix being in high school, like doing this stuff at a young age, focusing on energy. Kid Phoenix like 21, 22. Who? Kid Phoenix is? Oh, my But bad. it is a other young high, boy yeah. high school. But I just really want my young niggas to focus on you, y'all. Because if we become that mighty fucking man, put all that value, man, you're going you gonna to shine bright, for real. And then when it come to, like, don't be worried about females and all that because once you become the best you, bro, you probably going to be able to pick from multiple because you got all that value in you. Yeah, don't be thirsty. We selling ourselves short. 
For real. Have fun. That's the sad part. Niggas don't even know that. We selling ourselves short. Every fucking day we get up, don't do what we supposed to do, don't love ourselves correctly, don't take steps in bettering ourselves. And it kills me. It really kills me, man, watching niggas like just stuck with no motion mm. and life be moving. For real, a lot of us just be stuck. Like, I'm just, and I'm I'm, I'm mad, and I, and I see it from a different angle, because I felt like I was stuck at my job for 10 years. But I'm blessed because I was moving all through all throughout the process, all the years. I elevated and grew some type of way, and I'm highly blessed. But I, I tapped out right now. I am at the top at where I want to be there. The next one is out. And so I'm excited for that shit, and it's just like, I realize, like, damn, motherfuckers really be sitting here and let life go by. Not doing no motion, not doing shit better for themselves, not taking no chance, not trying shit, just waking up, letting these motherfucking days go by. And I'm to the point now, I don't feel bad for people. I don't feel sorry for people. You get what you put in life. Simple as That's that. Facts, let's go and let's go. Even though get motherfuckers it. might be in your way and shit like that, you get still got to be into strong it. to not, excuse me, you got to be strong enough to not let a motherfucker in your way because we're going to always have people just blocking or you know, humps that we have to get over, you know? Big facts. You but, get what you um, put in the life. Big Crook said, just one day I'm a tell a hater. The difference between me and you is I'm doing it like I'm doing, but I'm doing how doing for TV. Ow, ow, ow. I'm sorry, you almost lost me. <sighs> lost me on there. Prince Lamar like, said, I believe God always, um, I believe God usually wants us to be rich soulfully and mentally first before materialistically so that the riches don't control us. Big facts. That's he ain't, facts. Hey, honestly. Why do we be being controlled by this materialistic shit? Big facts. That shit weird. Big facts. Like Big motherfuckers facts. be. I mean, it, it's so. Um, you can see it. Like if you get on Facebook, a motherfucker, a motherfucker will get so much likes just because they have on this and that a three hundred dollars shirt. Bro, it's all a game. Like, that is so fucking stupid. They probably don't even have a car. They probably hey, don't even pay a car note. Let me tell y'all niggas this. Like, what this the, the crazy thing. I was paying all my shit, but I was drippy as fuck. Rocket, it's like when niggas didn't know me. And like before this and that, I getting hella likes. Then it's like when niggas feel like, oh, he's just to himself. He don't fuck with the social media. He don't fuck with the world. This and that. Like niggas start hating. So it's like, it don't be trying to do it for likes because you gonna get them at the start of it. The niggas gonna flip and wish that was them, and then the hate come. So honestly, it just depends. Yeah, but some people be doing it all for social media. That shit. I would say stop. it depends because some yeah, people can be you. jealous of you, but will watch you hard as fuck. Just yeah, because. But see, yeah, I got off that shit because it's like, man, I ain't gonna cap. It ain't looking. I don't like seeing nobody. Hey, it's a different opinion. from looking like the man and actually being that nigga. And that's why I realized. Like, but I you ain't never gonna know who really the man. Yeah, and, and guess what? But look, no. But look, let me tell y'all, to all my young kids, it don't even really fucking matter who the man and who not. Just be the fucking best man for because you. The funny thing is, most of the time, the people that be getting all these likes and shit like that when they die, that's when you see that they never really was worth anything because they don't have hey. nothing. In my book, they got five say, kids. That's it, and all the five kids are sad as fuck because their daddy gone and didn't leave them. I mean, not saying that money will make you happy, but damn, if you hey. have kids, why not? Especially if you're in the street, risking life. Why you? Why you don't got life insurance? You doing it for? You doing it for? Put up on them for the community. Look, Shit weird. Like she said, even niggas, niggas, niggas die without nothing, but a lot of us do. Niggas like literally walk through, go through life being poor and in poverty because we don't want to speak on the basic shit. We don't want to speak up. In my book, I'm going to say, what's your net worth? Just be honest. And it takes for us to be honest. A lot of our shit is in negative. And some people need to look at that shit and just be like, damn, I need to cut this going out to the club. I need to cut buying this shit off so I can start working on getting a better fucking life. We in the fucking game, man. And a lot of niggas losing and it's because of you. Like, for real, if you win it, it's because of you. If you're changing you in the process, it's because of you. If you have no motion, you're standing still, it's because of you. It's all based on us, y'all. We get what we put in the life. That's what I'm going off with forever. We get what we put into it. Simple as that, man. You put, it's a, it's a whole machine. You put that work in, you put good energy out there, you bless people, positive thoughts, positive movement, positive. You're going to get that back out. You out here got negative attitude, hating on this person, wishing this person to be down, hoping this person lose. That's what the that's what the fuck's happening to you. You don't even know it. You over like, okay. damn, wondering why you look, why you don't got no. Cause you worried about the wrong shit, and I'm focusing on you. And shit is killing me, man. And people want annoying. you to be want you to be <laughs> sentimental for them and shit. Like, and I'm on one. I'm really been quiet because I just been letting CC do her thing because she's talking. 
big facts today. But today, like, at my job, we had a whole meeting. It's really, like, niggas is so feminine, man. I'm, like, I'm ready to get up there on the mic. Like, hey, y'all, can we just get to work and do what the fuck we supposed to do? And, but, fuck, fuck the job. Can we just do what the fuck we supposed to do in life? Can we just get to work on ourselves in life and do what the fuck we supposed to do for ourselves? Like, stop fucking playing, y'all. It's just simple. If we don't, life gonna keep getting grown. Life gonna keep evolving. Life gonna keep getting older. And you gonna look up one day and behold, shit gonna be coming to an end, man. Do it while you got, like, I feel, it's do it while you can. And it ain't never too late, no matter what your age is. If God give you opportunity to wake up and breathe, you got a chance to go get your purpose, fix anything, or get correct or change. Simple as that. Especially if you're older, especially if we got any grandpas, you better get the shit together because, you know, you, you got to go visit him eventually. You want to be right. So that's what I'm trying to say. At some point in life, y'all, we got to just make that dedication to just want to change, want to be better, want to love ourselves, want to put value in ourselves, want something, want a purpose, want a goal. Like, for real. Listen, Some nigga, are... I'm in college. Who? That's what Kid Phoenix said. Oh, my bad. My bad, I'm fam. I'm, nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm, I'm grown. Grown. He said, I'm grown as shit, bro. Don't get it twisted. My bad. Big nigga. Kid Phoenix. My bad, young stick. But no, man, I was just talking my talk, man. What's up, Chad? How y'all going? Prince said, Matthew 16, 26. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Uh, nothing. But you going to tell a lot of motherfuckers hey, always. Hey, that's what we doing. I, I thought about this shit because I want to get um, Steve Harvey. He says some verses. I got them written down. I should have went and grabbed a book I wanted to hit y'all with. But it's cool, though. We're going to pivot back up on it. But that's how the lives go. I got some. Okay. King Phoenix said, can I ask how's the crime in Indiana? Any shootings or gang violence erupting your block? Not on our block, but over in the hood. Yeah. People die every day, B. I was just about to say that shit. Not even trying to be funny or like not that, but yeah, people down. are, bodies are being dropped over. If not, niggas getting clocked. Now, we in Chicago, it's not no, it's every not. day, every hour, or however no, that we, go down we, there. We good for a couple of months. We don't, yeah, we don't have a lot of um, innocent bystander shootings. Yeah, like, you know, like yeah, in Chicago, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers could just be sitting in their car and now they dead. No, Touch like, it. we cool. Like, most people are um, targeted or the person they wear are targeted. Stuff like that. You know, normal yeah, stuff. Yeah, niggas miss that nigga. I mean, not normal person. stuff, but... Yeah, we got violence just like everybody else. Uh, Be the Messiah said, I borrowed people some money, so he loaned somebody some money, and they refused to pay me back, so I just let them be. One thing I know is that they'll never come back looking for help from me anymore. That's why I decided to focus on me. I feel like with the money thing, too, sometimes it just... I mean, with a lot of stuff, like, because some people would try to, like, hold you with some shit, you know? Like, sometimes it's best just to let some shit go. Like, chop it off as a loss. It's better than talking to a motherfucker. Like, I'm not finna beg you and chase you for my money when you came here asking with the positive energy, motherfucker. And we don't fucking lose. We learn no. from that shit. If they're not elevating. your family or nothing, like, you know. But still, like, I don't know. People, I'm just not cut like that. Even if I if I owe you money, even if I have to give it to you. Well, for one, I'm good with communication. I'm going to tell you. Because I don't ever want a motherfucker thinking I'm shysty. But I don't like owing people money anyway. Because that's just, I just don't like to do that. But... You should just, nah, don't let no more money. Fuck that. For real. Hey, it depends on how much it is. Some yeah, shit $20 might. $20 ain't shit, but if you. It depends on nah. the, I'm just thinking about some other shit. Some shit got to get handled. But no, nah, best thing is cut the person on keep pushing. Like, See, for real. Know. Like, I, y'all, what? Man, we always good as long as we got ourselves. That's why I want y'all to focus on putting value in yourself. But and that that goes multiple ways. Cause if you the ultimate you, now you giving your ultimate you to your loved ones. You giving your ultimate you to your mom, dad, your family, and different shit. So that's what I lead to by being the ultimate you. Like for real, and like for the uh, like she said, we had some couples. Y'all need to be working on putting value in each other. For real, Thanks. making sure. That making sure he good his self confidence, yeah, making then, sure she good. You know, balance it out. Self. Like a lot of relationships fail because people be spending more time with their friends or, or shit that really don't matter and don't be giving their girlfriend a lot of time or anything like that. Like learn to balance what the fuck you got going on. Big fat and, and then, be honest. Be honest. Well, you don't gotta go into detail. Like if you if you trying to surprise her or or if you just want to keep something personal. Then like hey, look, you, you know this this is a life lesson. Be honest. Ask like, what are you, how willing Facts. how willing how willing are you to go to the deep end with me? How willing are you to sacrifice for me? Because that's the problem. A lot of us, we be some niggas willing to go all the way to the fucking deep end, and motherfuckers only ready to get their neck under. They ain't really ready to drown with you. So you need to know if motherfuckers really make them type of sacrifice with you. That's, I mean, that's what. Make sure you be honest to see what all they gotta do. Because motherfucker be like, bro, you with me? And now you in a car with a nigga, and now y'all doing a drive by. Nigga, how the fuck did I get in this car? Like, no, know who you, know, know, yeah, know what you getting yourself into. Because a lot of people will expect 
people will expect you to be there for them and not even know, like, you're not even cut, like, what they got going on. Like, you know, like, my Auntie Mary used to always say, like, don't ever just go into, like, my sister used to be out here fighting. They, they don't, they didn't play. And my Auntie Mary used to be like, you know, don't ever just go to a fight because you don't, you never know what it's really about. People hide shit all the time. Big you facts. know, so it's just like, you know, a nigga could sit here and be like, oh, you gonna be here for me? And then the whole time over here just playing a whole fucking game. Now you over here, you done gave this nigga your all, lost yourself and all. Because normally when you give somebody your all, you're losing yourself. You're That's not supposed to fact. give, you're not supposed to pour all your water into a cup. Big that fact. should already have at least some water. Like, what the fuck? Hey, and that's why I say focus on yourself. Because you put that value in yourself. You poured all that water in yourself. Now you feel it. Now you get Now that shit overflowing. Yeah. And so now it can flow over my other people's cup. And that's what it be. And sometimes, like, hey, man, hey, I realize that communication is it. For real. And focus on yourself. Facts. Communication with everybody, though. Everything. Like, for real. And don't ever just tell too much. Like, sometimes we just be... Talking too, talking too much. Like some shit just don't need to be said, you know. But some stuff should be said, cause a lot Make of people. Sense. Like I remember, I seen like a movie or something where a nigga cheated on his girl, whatever. And she like, I thought you did that. He's like, Well, you didn't ask. Like just cause a motherfucker don't ask, do not mean that they do not value that they do not deserve the truth. You know, a lot of people be hiding shit and then be acting like, oh, well, Why you acting like this, nigga? What the fuck? You weren't honest. Big facts. That shit weird. Hey. Big facts. Um, hey, y'all, we got six more minutes on the live, though. People say, yeah, we grown now. We've experienced life, and we thought niggas are having it hard. But now I see we had it hard equal. Yet, some of us made something out of, of ours, though. These sit around and let the day go by. Motherfuckers do just be sitting around. And that's something I hate, too, that some of the older generations say, like, oh, y'all got it easy. Shit, no, we How, don't. Y'all, like, I mean, we still got to, at the end of the day, we got to custom to the future, too. Don't nobody got it easy. You go like with life, you get you get whatever life presents to you. Yeah, and everybody, you we all come somebody. here, we all get dealt different cards. But that's what it's all about, man. But life is just really, we got to focus more on ourselves, man. Another thing no, is, too, y'all. That's the shit. key. Love focus yourself. On you. Focus yourself. And then another thing, like, real shit, like, don't yeah. really be asking people. Do it yourself because I know it's like a lot of people I let too. you know. If you begging somebody to do something, just say fuck it. Don't be begging motherfuckers to do anything because you shouldn't have to beg. You should if, not. If a motherfucker want to do something, you only gotta ask them one time. And if they don't do it, just once you get to over, because that's overstepping your boundaries once you're begging. I mean, facts. overstepping their boundaries. Don't be a muff. We are grown, like you know. You once you propose something, if a, a motherfucker know they want to do, it, and if not, they're gonna tell you, let me think about it. But once you start trying to force something on them and shit like that, it's just like it start getting annoying. Now you you know like everybody just gotta learn to just that, go back to focusing on yourself. If you oh want God, something done, strong. and if, let's say you didn't want to have your girlfriend or your best friend join and they not sounded too sure, you don't need that anyway. Do If you want it done, do it your fucking self. Because all that, people get to, oh, I, you were going to do this with me, get to doing all that nagging and shit. And it's just like, who the fuck said I wanted to? Big it's really you that wanted them to do it, and you was hoping that they go along with what the fuck you want them to do. And that's when they put it all the way back to communication. Yeah, that's why you get let down, because you... That's yeah. That's why people get let down because they don't communicate. That's big facts. Even if you did communicate and that person lied, they didn't communicate back with you. You know, like because a motherfucker, but like, oh yeah, I'm down. And then the whole time they have negative energy there and shit like that. Like no, you know that's why you you got it for one. If you want if you want the right relationship with people for one, you have to be willing to accept them. A lot of people do not be accepting their partner for who they are. Or, right, but hold on. Let me hit them with number know? two. Number two, if you're willing to have a relationship, you got to be willing to evolve, grow, and change. A lot That's of people right. come in a relationship one way and stay the same fucking way. Be built up. I'm like this. No, motherfucker. If you love me, make some sacrifices and change. If not, see, they really don't love you. need to go back to the communication. And it's just you, that you simple. would know, yeah. You well, would hey, know if that person not willing to change or not. We got four but, more um, minutes. Read these comments. I want to read Prince Con. He said, all about balance. Even if you get the money and enrich mentally. Good energy within you and love yourself. You still got to stay healthy, eat right, exercise. Imagine everything good, but you sick. Right. Mm. That's balance with everything. Balance in life with friendships, relationships, jobs. Health. Everything. Yes. <laughs> like, we really have to... Mindset. Thoughts. That's why it's like we all low-key distracted as fuck because we all care about everything else besides The person this. in front of you. Like, you know? Let's go. But, um, let's get it. Hey, let's, let's, this chat was bombing Prince today, outside y'all. my family, I don't borrow people money. It's either I give you without one in the back or I don't. CP words, I hate on money. I avoid it at all costs. Yeah. I like when... I, like, I write... If, you, if I have to give you something back for anything that you give me, please tell me. Don't do that secret and that secret shit. You know? 
Like where a motherfucker give you something and be like, oh, that's gonna be ten dollars. Like, bitch, how? <laughs> Why you give it to me? Make this like you know, motherfuckers really be having secret intentions. Big facts. But I wouldn't borrow no money, even from family, because that can cause problems. Like, you know, because some shit do just happen. Like, sometimes you might have, you planned on owing somebody back and it just did not turn out. You know, shit just happened. But some people, you got to know who you asking. Like, if you really need money, you really got to go to a trustworthy person and you got to stand on your shit too. Big for problems. real, for real. Because motherfuckers don't have to help you with nothing. They don't have to lend you $20 because you need it. That's personal at the end of the day, you know? Like, if you need gas in your car, that's personal. Unless you was giving that motherfucker rides consistently, then you know? Mm -hmm. But if not, that's personal. If you need your rent paid, that's personal as fuck. Even when girls be trying to have niggas hey, pay for this shit, it's personal. Very is. But it all come back to take care of your responsibility. Yeah. If you don't take care of yourself, who's going to take care of you? Right. Uh, let's go. But let's get it, pray? man. Hey, y'all. We about to get ready to pray, man. <laughs> Bow y'all head, close your eyes. We appreciate y'all tuning in with us and staying to this mm, point. I Simple love y'all. Like Let's go and let's get it. Lord Jesus, thank you for another day. Thank you for another opportunity to get it. Simple as that. Lord Jesus, I ask you to bless everybody that's getting ready to lay their head down. Lord Jesus, and bless them and have a beautiful weekend. But most of all, I ask you to bless anybody that's spirit's not right, that's confused, that's lost, that don't know what to do, that needs some guidance. Lord Jesus, I ask you to bless them. I ask you to bless anybody that got attitude problems, that's hurting. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, I ask you to bless them. I ask you to bless anybody that got finance problems, that got health problems. Lord Jesus, I ask you to bless them. Lord Jesus, I ask you to just bless us to start... Um, realizing we need to put more value in ourselves, put more value in you, so you can show us the way to put more value to in ourselves, so we can be walking towards our purpose that you have out here for us to fulfill. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. That was a good. Man, prayer. Amen. Let's I go. Let's get it, man. Like this that. was the bomb ass life. Like yeah. for real, you guys are all good vibes, energy. <laughs> like, I really love you guys. Communication was fire, man. And I, I think it's know. just dope that um, me and Vern can share this. You know, like we already share a kid, but we share a fan base. Y'all just don't know Vern, and I'm not just his girlfriend or whatever. You know, y'all know Vern and Cece. <laughs> um, Prince said, amen. Have a great weekend, everyone. Cece, try meditating this weekend. The more you do it, the more or less you overthink. Yeah, I do need to uh, meditate. But I've been, I've been new about meditation. I'm just trying to, that's all. I just got to learn to focus. Let go and let God. I mean, I let God, though, but it's just like, I do be Amen. overthinking. But love you guys. Love y'all, man. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Simple as that.